reason I wrote this shit, the reason I stand in the rain and get my clothes wet. Oh, this just another taste from the bottle. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do um, my usual day to day eyeshadow. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I just took it off so I can do the video. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting's bad, it's pretty bright today, it's pretty cloudy outside. Um, but first, before I get into the video, I want to show you guys a new foundation a foundation a blush that I got and this is the Rimmel London um I think it's the New Nouveau blush. It just looks like that and it's in the number one spring flower and it's a three in one powder blush. So when you open it up you just get three colours here, you get like a dark one, sort of a medium one and then like a really light pink one. The middle one's called kind of like kind of like a corally orange colour. I haven't really used them separately yet, but so far I really like it. I think it was about $10. I got it from Big W. Um, but yeah, so far I really like it. I kind of just swirl it all together and just use it as blush. So, I just wanted to mention that. Um, so, the, the look that I'm going to be doing today is just the eyeshadow that I wear pretty much every day. What I use to go to work and stuff like that. Um, and the products I'm using are pretty inexpensive as well. Um, so... If you want to know how I do it, then just keep watching. The first thing I want to do is prime my eyelids with the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I'm just going to put this on the top of my eyelids and then just blow that out. I just took like a little bit of my eyeshadow off. I still have my eyeliner on because I work today so that we have my makeup done and then I'm just gonna let that dry for a second and just so you know um the mascara that I have on today is the Maybelline New York Falsy Volume Express mascara that you can get from where is it? I think I got it from Target maybe it was on special I like this mascara so much that I got it again so that's what I like and so, um, the first thing I'm going to be doing is just putting um, my brow bone highlight on. I know this is probably a weird way to do it, but this is the way I've just started doing it. So I'm just getting, this is the brush, this is a really cheap brush. I don't know who would buy it, it's just a silver sort of flat brush. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Open Eyes Pro Palette. And this is in Beige Harmony, so it just looks like that. And you get... These really pretty colours. So I'm going to be taking oh, this one right here and just putting that just on the top. Just sort of dabbing that down just so you still get that shine. And I really like this colour. I like it also on the um, inner corners as well. So as I'm looking this way, I have like a mirror over here. So I'm just going to dab that on, just put that little bit of highlight on my brow, and then, and then, where did that go, and then I'm going to be taking, wait, okay, my, this is by, I'm pretty sure this is a Maybelline New York brush, I think, yeah, Maybelline, I don't know what number this is. And then I'm just going to be taking this darker brown colour right here. And I'm just going to be putting a little bit of that on. So I'm going to be putting this just on like sort of the outer corner, but not really. And I'm just going to put it like a bit just above my eye crease. Because I sort of like pretty dramatic eyeshadow. I don't like not being able to see it. I really don't like that. And then just do the same over the other side. I find that I really suck at sort of getting my eyeshadow to be even on both sides. Like especially this side. I feel like it's always higher on the other side. I don't know why. But I'm just going to blend it out. Just sort of shape it to how I want. 
Okay, let's put a boot on the corner. Hope you can see. Okay. And then I'm going to get... This is a brush that I was talking about in, um, like, my everyday brushes. This is one I forgot to put in there. This is from the Pauline Prada set, and this is the eyeshadow and crease brush. So it's like that, and it has the crease bit here. And then you get the flat end. From the hat to rain. Right now. Um... And then I'm going to be taking the Calvin Klein eyeshadow, and this is in Deep Brown 106. It's just a very matte brown colour. It's really, really pretty. And it was only like a dollar, so I thought that was a bargain. So I'm going to take my crease brush, just put a tiny little bit in, kind of swirl it around, and then get rid of the excess. And then I'm really just going to be putting this right in the corner, and then bringing it up. And it does give you that sort of definition to your eye, I guess. And then on the other side as well. And I just, I just sort of blend it. I sort of just blend it in to when I'm happy with it, I guess. Um, I feel like that. And then... Um, I'm going to be taking, what colour is it, this is the BYS Shimmer Powder in Gold Mine. This one is really pretty. I really like this. I'm just going to be getting, this is a, this is just an Avon, like, fluffy brush. I'm not really sure what it's called. But because this eyeshadow is very, very, like, glittery and powdery, I really don't want to put a lot on there. So I'm just going to be putting this in the inner corner of my eye, just to create that little bit of shine. And you, I don't really like having a lot on, especially during work, I mean I don't really mind. So I'm just going to blend that into the inner corner. And then, I'm just going to put a little bit more of the e.l.f. eyelid primer just on the inner tear duct for my eyes. Just get a dab of it in. And then I'm going to pay, be taking my e.l.f. professional defining eye brush. And it's just like a normal little cute angled one. And I'm going to be taking this gold one here in my L'Oreal Paris Open Eye. Open Eyes Pro Palette, so this is gold one up here. I'm taking a little bit of that in my angled brush. I'm just putting this right in the inner corner. And I really like this eyeshadow, I think it really does stay on well. Um, I think it was a bit expensive. Um, I went to go get it in Big W, but they didn't have any left of this palette, so I got it from Target, I'm pretty sure. And I think it was around about like eighteen dollars maybe. So it's just in the inner corner. And then this is the liquid eyeliner I use and this is the Maybelline New York Master Precise Liquid Liner. And I love this thing. I think it just this is awesome. This is definitely one of my favourite um products ever. So it's just like a normal tip brush. I really like this, so just to do the upper line. I sort of, I would say I put a bit on, a bit more than the average girl, I think. I don't really like to wing it out, I don't really like that look. I think it looks awesome on a lot of other girls, I just don't think it really works for me. So I just sort of do as thick as I like it, I guess. And then just on the other side, I hope I'm not out of view of the camera. Sorry if you can hear the TV. Just sort of look away from it. A little. And 
this. I just fixed the back because I got it wrong. Then we're gonna pile a little bit of mascara, even though it already has some on. My eyelashes are kind of dull. I just put a little bit of on. Now, um, I already had my eyeliner on the bottom, and the eyeliner that I'm using is the. What's it called? I think it's. I think it's by Maybelline. But it's just a brow, a brow, a brown eyeliner, and one side has the eyeliner, and then the other side it has the smudgy brush. So I just put that on, and then I get like a really dark eyeshadow that I have. I think today I used the Calvin Klein one, and I just use my angle brush, and I just put that in. Just sort of says the eyeliner because I noticed that it does wear off really easily. So, but I do really like that eyeliner. And I would normally curl my lashes. This is my. What's this by? I think. I'm not too sure actually who this is by, but um, it's like just like an average eyelash curler. I'm not really too big on eyelash curlers. Um, I've never really found one that's really really good, but I'm just settling with this one so far. Um, so that's all I have to show you guys today. Um, I hope this was helpful to you in any way. I think I think it's just like a really quick and easy sort of eyeshadow to do especially for on the go um i normally play around with a dark um brown eyeshadow just to see just depending on how i feel during the day um so that's pretty much all i had to show you guys i'm sorry i haven't had any videos in the past week i've been really busy with work and really tired um but i do have a question i'm looking for um a really good like video editing program so if you know one please leave a comment below and I'm also in the market for a really good face primer. So if you also know one that's pretty cheap, and um, one you can buy it probably like Target or any, or if you know any, um, just leave a comment below. And I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. This is for you. You're the reason I wrote this. You're the reason I stand in the rain and get my clothes wet. Oh, this just another taste from the bottom.